Hey what's up hello welcome to or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Emma and if you're not new here my name is still Emma um <laughs> well this is gonna be an interesting video to film I was talking to Rachel this morning my flatmate and we were talking about makeup and like she wore makeup today because she went to a wedding and I was like wow it looks so good like I wish I could do that and she's like bro you probably could I don't wear makeup because I just don't know how to do it so today I'm going to teach myself following a YouTube tutorial. I have been putting off this exact task for at least five years. And so today is the day that I'm going to give it a crack. Um, I have, this is the most embarrassing part, I have all of this makeup. For someone who does makeup it's probably not a lot, but for someone who doesn't do makeup it's quite excessive. My parents used to own a pharmacy and when they sold it when I was in my last year of high school I'm like I'm going to stock up because I'm going to start wearing makeup. And so I have all of this product that I haven't used. Well, if I have used it, I've only used a little bit. So I found a YouTube tutorial which is called Makeup for Beginners Everyday Makeup Tutorial Step by Step by, forgive my pronunciation, Danielle Mansudi. I'll link it down below. It's had like 3.9 million views, so surely if like the whole population, the whole adult population of New Zealand equivalent is able to follow this tutorial, I think that I can do it. I've watched the first like minute and she really just drove home the point that this is really, really for beginners. Like she's gonna explain the brushes and everything, which is fantastic because that is just what I need. And she also said to start with a clean face and moisturizer. So I have the clean face and I've got the moisturizer. So let's put it on. <laughs> <laughs> I also have Morgan sitting by me here observing. Ah. You know what's curious? This is the facial moisturizer I use. I've been using it for like the past two years. This is from Avene. Highly recommend. And also before we get started, going to preface, I have psoriasis, um, which you can see here and 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 no violence. Is this going to have terrible repercussions tomorrow? Probably. I like to use a full coverage foundation. We have this, which used to be a tester, Revlon. We have more Revlon. We have some different shades of CoverGirl, which was actually gifted to me like two years ago and I haven't really used it, so hashtag gifted. Um, oh, I had I had an actual primer in this box, which is from 2019. Lighting isn't that great, eh? Hey? Maybe I need to... Is that better? I feel like that's better. We have some options. We have nude, sand beige, light medium, or fair light. I'm gonna go sand beige. We're using this Revlon one. You're gonna ignore the fact that it says tester on it. Use a beauty blender. It is a little sponge like this that you put under the tap face. I just bounce it onto my skin like that. I don't drag. All right, this is something I learned like two years ago. I did a video of like 17 year old doing a makeup for the first time. Something like that. You guys loved it. It popped off. It was great. But I cannot use that title anymore because this is not my first time doing my makeup it is my second time in that previous video that I did I got absolutely ridiculed for dragging the beauty blender rather than dabbing it so I learned from my mistakes and I will do better so I just slap it straight on my skin and then as you can see with this beauty blender I'm putting it on our face I've got a mirror right here, so I'm 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 just gonna look here. Just did a bad thing. I don't regret this thing at all. And you're wondering what it is. I'll tell you what I did. I did a bad thing. Right. We're too far in now to go back. You know what? I think I should have gone for light slash fear. Started in the middle and she went. Out. Kendall, if you're watching this, this is this is why I come to you when I need my makeup done. Uh, addressing the elephant in the room, I know my eyebrows are needed some serious TLC. I won't get up too close because there's a lot of hairs growing under here. I would love, love to pluck them. That's normally what I do. But I know that I'm going to my eyebrow lady next week. And so why am I going to pay to get them done if I'm going to do it myself? I'm not. I'm going to pay. It's like I probably should, no, actually no. I was say I probably should have done this when I was actually going to go somewhere. But I'm not convinced this is actually going to work. Okay, and you go down the neck. I know that. This is not my shade. I'm so pasty because I work from home and never go outside. We have the foundation on. Great start. Feeling great. Can't see my freckles. Awesome results. Just kidding. I actually love my freckles. See, the foundation is now on. And at this point, I like to grab a little bit of concealer. This is concealer, right? I have that. Concealer. 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 Uh, I don't even know what it looks like. Um... <laughs> I'm sure I have some of that stuff. Oh, maybe I have to 
throw it out because it was expired. Nope, is it? Full coverage concealer. Again, this is Revlon, not a tester this time, so that's fantastic. I'm using the shade Light Medium. Probably a little bit dark for my liking, but it's fine. So what I like to do is grab a concealer which is about a shade or two shades lighter than my foundation. Almost in the form of a triangle, so I go across my eye, down my nose, and then kind of have that triangle there. Gosh, she said she uses a concealer that's lighter than her foundation. And I'm just going to go to the corner of my eye, and then back in, and then down. Wow. And then kind of blend this with does the not look like this. So as soon as I put on some concealer, I will grab a loose powder. I'm going to go with this one. I don't even know if it's the right thing. It's new by nature. It's 100% expired. Grab it onto a brush, not a beauty blender. I would just tap that underneath my eyes. more graceful doing this this makeup is expired it looks like wood chips oh, oh. i'm gonna like snatch it on after this is gonna be like emo why are you wearing makeup like this like what what are you doing he's so sweet though we went to new market the other weekend and i was like one day when i've got money i'm gonna come to mecca and i'm gonna buy some makeup for myself i'm gonna get the real deal i'm gonna get all the right stuff and he's like why like you don't need it and i was like Thanks. Grabbing my beauty blender again because it's still a little bit wet. I'm and I can pick fast. up that powder and then go over where we put that concealer. I moved too fast, but you know what? We're going to go back and we're going to do that too. My whole face just looks the same colour. Well, moving on. I would definitely recommend something like the Benefit Finny Brow. Just a that. little brush like that, which is adding a little bit of darkness and depth and just tinting it temporarily so it looks dark and nice start with a very small amount with a light hand okay we've made a mess up yeah cool 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 brown yes, gel won't move i have i have that i've been using that recently from ardell hashtag sponsor someone's gifted it to me right i'm getting so flustered right now morgan's left the room and she's gonna come back and be like who's this new flatmate we are making progress I find that bronzing makes such a difference. When it comes to bronzers, you want to make sure you don't pick anything which you can see. It's I very similar. All right, bronzer. We have this brush. Nope, not that one. This, this one says bronzer brush. It's quite large, quite scared. Oh, this has, okay, that hasn't been opened. We're not going to use that. From Natio. Look, you guys can, can see yourselves. Hey. Put my brush in the bronzer. Then I will tap off the excess because we do not want to have streaky cheeks. And again, use a very light hand. Do not like smush it onto your face. Start from where like your side burns out, essentially. So I'm going to start all the way back here, and then I'm going to very lightly just do some stroke. So sort of where my eye ends here down. This is kind of the area I want to stop. I'm moving to this, which is a contour brush. So I'll pop it in my eye here, and then I'll blink down, and that covers as much of my lash as possible, and you can see just from that how much went on my eye. I have the longest, most spidery eyelash, as you've ever seen. To highlight. Now we're going to do this very lightly, so we're not going to go like super overboard or anything like that. I'm just going to grab a highlighter. You know what? It's probably, it's cringeworthy, but we're going to go back with the same brush we use for bronzer. I don't know if that's the right etiquette. And then you want to feel the highest point of your cheekbone. And you can see naturally, I already have a little bit of a glow here. So that's where I'm going to focus the highlight on. So I'm going to be super, super, super light with my hand. And you can see it just gives that really, really, really healthy glow. Add a little bit down there. And then finally... And final step, we have lip gloss. Again, this is expired too, but at this point, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to take you guys to some better lighting so that we can see what this actually looks like. Oh yeah, okay, that's not... Oh, oh my gosh, she was a bit heavy handed there, wasn't she? I'm quite happy with that. Are you kidding? Oh my gosh, you even contoured! <gasps> Look how heavy it is here though! <laughs> well, overall consensus, pretty happy with the results. Will this be a regular 
this be a regular thing like an every no probably not it won't be because my skin will not like that my skin is sensitive enough as it is and i'm already nervous for how it's gonna look tomorrow when i wake up so i probably actually need to go take this off like right now anyway thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in my next video Um, oh wait, no that did not look good. Finish looking very skinny. Just put my eye more out. Pissing someone and it's on them. <laughs>